So those of you who've been around on the channel for a while, you know that I am a huge Witcher fan. I really love this franchise. I play the games, I read the books, I listen to the music, I read the comics. And by the way, if you didn't know that there was a Witcher comic book series, seriously, check this shit out. First one, I think, is called House of Glass. Very good fucking book. And if you're not playing the Witcher games or reading the books, get on that. It's a great story. Uh, and it... So when I heard that there was going to be a TV series, I was pretty damn cautious. Kind of worried, in fact, if I'm being completely honest. Because they've tried this once before, and the first Witcher TV series was unwatchable. It was fucking terrible. Production quality was absolute shit. Acting was garbage. The, the, they fucked the lore all up. It was just a blemish on a great franchise. But either way, we're going to fucking forget that ever happened. But... Then there were some red flags. First off, it was coming from Netflix, which has been pretty hit and miss lately. And then the writer's room started engaging in corporate activism. And as we know, that does not help your product. If anything, it just makes you another entry into the saga of get woke, go broke. And th thankfully, they've been kind of quiet about it. They put out the one little tweet that you see here, and they shut the fuck up since then. There was no huge fucking outcry against, you know, people being like, oh, no, what's going on? At least that I'm aware of. But now they've put out the casting calls. And they, you know, we have Henry Cavill playing Geralt, which I don't really agree with that pick. I think he's way too clean looking, but maybe they'll prove me wrong. They'll gruffen him up a bit, but I, I still think he's too pretty to be Geralt. Uh, my pick would have been like Mads Mikkelsen, something like that. But the information for Siri came out, what kind of actress they are looking for to play Siri, Geralt's adopted daughter. And they want, Netflix wants to go with someone who is either black, Asian, or of mis mixed ethnicity. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, they are fucking race-swapping Siri. This series is going to fucking be just the an, another piece of slock that the SJW, the identity politics crowd, have come in and fucking fected with their goddamn politics, their goddamn rhetoric, and once again, being creative leeches cultural leech leeches in this instance as well and fucking up uh, fucking something up instead of going out and just making their own shit and letting the fans of a franchise just enjoy an adaptation for once just enjoy something with this uh, with this story no now we're gonna have to sit and get fucking lectured in it because i have zero faith in anyone who prescribes to these damn fucking fucked up ideologies who try to go ahead and make something of their own and we start seeing their bullshit thrown in. I just don't. I don't have any faith of them when they cram identity politics and social justice politics into their fucking work because so many times, like 95% of the time, it's absolute garbage. But the worst part is The Witcher was one of those stories that did it right. Much like Chris Claremont's X-Men run, The Witcher is able to go ahead and at, you know talk about sensitive issues like racism and immigration and do it very well. I mean, there's a lot of racism, racism in that setting between the humans, the elves, the dwarves, uh, you know, sentient monsters like uh, changelings and such. And you also have your own cultural differences between people like, you know, between cultures like uh, Nilfgaard and Temeria and the Zeracanians. You can ex explore all the things that SJWs want to talk about in the Witcher world while still keeping it grounded with that world's own cultures and problems. So since they want to go ahead and diversify up all of this, I've got a better, I, I've got a better idea. This is how you can get what they want. And we get what we want, which is just a story, a good story. If you want to diversify the, the main cast of characters, don't just pull from the games. Create original characters who come from places like Zeracania. Bring in some Ophiri characters, even. You can have your wide range of different fucking skin tones, if this means that goddamn much to you, by existing within the lore of the world that it already is. You don't have to just start changing things around for no goddamn reason. You can talk about prejudice and racism by examining how people, uh, humans interact with elves and dwarves. You can talk about immigration by the fact that every race that's not an elf 
in this world came from another world. That is immigration. They were taken from their own world and forced into another. Hell, that's fucking refugees right there. Boom, done. Hint on the conjunction of spheres. Talk about it. Talk about how the elven civilizations used to rule that world. And then the humans and the dwarves and the monsters came in and it all fell apart. But that's not exactly very pleasing for SJWs to show that a refugee problem like what happened in The Witcher, you know, ended up destroying a civilization and a culture and the humans basically took everything over. But you can make it more palatable by showing by showing the humans who are sympathetic to, you know, the elven problem, the problems that the elves face. Characters like fucking Geralt, the main goddamn character in the entire fucking franchise. Characters like Siri, who already hits their diversity quota by being either a lesbian or bisexual. There's still kind of an argument as to what Siri's sexuality really is. There's never a hard definitive answer given, but we know that her first lover was a woman and she tends to lean towards women. And you know, a good part of that is probably due to the fact that there is this whole prophecy about her offspring, which makes even her really, really creepy father want to knock her up. But if the SJWs also want go, to go ahead and talk about subjects like uh, racial oppression and things like that, all they have to do is, again, look at the world as it already exists. Elves are basically, elves and non-humans as a whole in the Witcher world and, you know, in major cities like Novigrad are forced into ghettos in a lot of instances. The vast majority of them are. They have an armed fucking resistance group of elves and dwarves and other non-humans called the Scoia'tael. That right there, you could fucking just use that. Include that in the fucking story. The Scoia'tael is a rampant problem in that world. It's going to have to come up at some point in this story and this se- if you're exploring this setting. So right there, they've got something they want, but they're ignoring it. And instead, they're just taking a character who already hits their diversity quota, Siri, by being a lesbian slash bisexual, and instead make swapping a race, which makes me wonder what the fuck are they going to do with the rest of the goddamn characters? Hell, getting onto the subject of Geralt, he's a very open-minded individual who doesn't really have any, you know, racial biases himself. And he speaks against the racism in that world fairly often, given the fact that he is a victim of it. He's an, he's considered a non-human. He's a witcher. Someone who's been had their body modified with, you know, monster genetics and such through a process called the trial of grasses. He is ostracized from society. He's not considered human by a vast majority of the population of that world. He faces the exact same problems that the elves and the dwarves and, uh, you know, shapeshifters and such will have to go through. And we know in this world as well, because of The Witcher 3 and even because of the books, because of what Siri mentions and such, that there is a kind of, you know, bias against homosexuality in that world. And The Witcher 3 handled it very well. It was just an offhanded refer- uh, reference with one character that you actually have to pry the answer out of them. And we see how they've faced problems because of their sexuality in that world and how they've overcome those issues. So all they have to do, again, as I've said so many times, is look at the world as it is. Look at the stories how it is. They can do what they want and we can get what we want. How fucking hard is this? I mean, I've done videos in the past about how great the female characters are in The Witcher, specifically Yennefer and Triss, and how they are how you write a strong female character, not how Marvel's fucking doing it. And you've even got more than just Yennefer and Triss. You've got the Duchess of Toussaint from, that was introduced in the games in Blood and Wine, introduced in the books in Lady of the Lake, I think. Another phenomenal fucking character that they could play with, that they could just use and bring into the forefront. And instead, no, they want to go ahead. They're going to fuck this whole thing up. Or as I said, there's numerous characters from Zeracania who are kind of uh, kind of a mix mash of different uh, ethnicities and cultures and such. Or even go with the Afiri, who are very Middle Eastern. Get Bring in characters like that. Just... <laughs> All they have to do is play the expansion packs to Witcher 3. That's all they have to do. But once again, SJWs can't do their fucking research. They can't fucking leave this shit alone. 
And we are going to have to keep fucking talking about how they need to just stop with this shit. And the, their immediate response is, of course, going to be, oh, well, you're racist, you're sexist, you're a bigot, blah, 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 fucking blah. So that's about all I've got to say on the matter. This, this annoys the fuck out of me because I am a huge Witcher fan. And I do not want to see this fucking series get fucking tarnished with SJW bullshit. Uh, CD Projekt Red, the people who made the games, have already come under fucking fire uh, for uh, Cyberpunk, the new game that they're putting out uh, on two occasions. Some people are bitching about how, oh, there's only two genders in the game, and they made some joke at one point about how, did you just assume that person's gender? And the SJWs got all up in a fucking frenzy about it, and then they f- did the worst thing possible. The worst thing possible, they fucking apologized. So, you know, that's a fucking thing. So I don't have a lot of faith in this project. I really, really fucking don't. Netflix needs to get their fucking shit in order. Either way, I want to know what you have to think, uh, have to say about the Witcher project. I want to know what you think about, uh, you know, the fact that this Witcher series could be getting woke and going broke. Let me know about all that in the comment section down below. As always, don't forget to like and share and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. And until next time, guys, let's take it easy. Have fun. And let's make entertainment great again.